Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and some happy mail haul thing. This is going to be an array of a lot of happiness is what I'm just going to say because some of it will be mailed, some of it will be printed. There's just going to be a lot of different things but I wanted to start with my pink zebra haul that I just got because these are things that are almost all for myself except for this guy here but let's get started. Um, this, I'll move these to the side for a moment, is a scent flirt um, a scent flirt exclusive. So if you are a scent flirt subscriber and you get your fragrance box every month, um, you can get the pet collection items. This is a waterless foaming pet wash. And I got this because one of the dogs, not naming names, Jules, likes to roll <laughs> in the grass. And we just tease her about that. She's a good girl, but she, she just loves to roll. And we use baby wipes. The, the one thing we have found has been the best has been something called scrubbies. You use water and it's scrubby and you can wash them off. But I wanted to try this stuff because it's lavender sprig and orange. And I'm hoping not only will both doggos smell nice because Sharpie hates baths. He's good for the um, groomer, but he's not good for me in the bath. And this would be a quick way to really just kind of freshen them up, wash them down, all that fun stuff. I'm excited to try it. If I can film doing it, I will. I make no promises on that one, though. All right, next thing I got. This was a fragrance that sold out in the sprinkles so quick. I did not get a chance to get it. It's called Frost and Flurries, and it's frosted for fresh mint and white sage and I got it in the car fresheners because I figured you know that's a great way to like have it just for a little bit I haven't even opened it yet oh but I just got a whiff and it is amazing so glad that I got these guys all right so these are car fresheners and basically it uses our diffusing oil so what's great is when I'm done with these I can just re-fragrance them with another oil so that's our little zebra. Oh, it smells so good. It's very wintry. So it's not quite Christmassy. I'll keep the bag because that's a great way to refragrance it too if you're using the diffusing oil. By the way, keep the bag because you can drop the oil in there and seal it and let it just really soak in before you use it. Oh, that's a good one. I'm glad I got that one. Cause like I said, sold out so quick in the um, sprinkles. Um, this guy is a um, room spray. This is our odor neutralizing room spray called Air Care Plus. And this is actually for my folks. They, um, I had let them borrow my cinnamon vanilla one and the fragrance is just a little too much for their small space, but they would like to have this one because they know, they know that this one's gonna be fine. So they're getting some Air Care Plus. What I love about our room spray I didn't mention this before. I'm a pink zebra lady. I just kind of assume most of you know that, but I know I have some new people. I'm a pink zebra lady. Links in the description. Um, what I like about our um, room sprays is that there's no propellant in it. It's pressurized, it's bag on valve. So like you're not gonna get a ton of chemicals in this guy. So there's that. And then, They've had this for a while and it's kind of hidden on the website. This is the hand soap refill. Now it's not the foaming hand soap. It's what, when they when we first did like sanitizers and hand soaps and disinfectant sprays, which we don't really have anymore. I'm hoping they kind of redo it. I think it could come back. Um, this is the regular hand soap refill and I'm so excited. I got it in Air Care Plus because I didn't really want anything. It says green floral, but it doesn't, it's not like florally. I can still smell frost and flurries <laughs> as I'm talking to you. So um, I'm gonna be filling up. I had gotten an Aldi um, Christmas like bathroom decorative set and it's two towels and a rug and a soap dispenser and it's a gnome. So this is going in the gnome. That's why I had to film this real quick because I was just like, I can't wait no longer. Gotta put the soap in the gnome. Who says that? Put the soap in the gnome. There you go. All right, friends, let's see what the next item holds. All right, up next in my happy haul is actually not something that came in the physical mail. Um, these are Lights Planner Action inserts that I bought during her Gold Friday 
sale and I do the printables so I buy them in happy like classic happy planner size and then print them cut them I love it because it gives me a little wiggle room of like if a format doesn't quite work for me or maybe I want to skip it a month I don't have to print it I'm not stuck with it it's really nice so one time and then it's fine forever so I kind of got them in an order that I want to show you and I'm going to kind of slide them to the side first I got the um Christmas planner memory planner last year I did the journal and this year I was like, you know what, let's do something a little bit different. So one of my goals is to use this every day starting in December. Um, I have not punched the holes in it yet, I will. But I figured I'd just get it all cut so that you guys can see. So I'm going to make sure that I have my colored pencils out downstairs. And while I'm watching Hallmark movies and things like that, I'm going to fill, fill this out. She does one every year. You can get these printed as well. You don't have to get the printables. Christmas movies. I love the names of her um, Tombos, Lump of Cold, Coal, Evergreen, Snow White, Ice Blue, Rudolph Red. And then these are just memory keeping pages. I love that there's some like coloring things. You could write, you could put photos, lots of fun things. And there's still spots for journaling and I like. I like it, I like it. I just thought it might be a nice stress relief for the season. And you get a ton of pages. I didn't realize how many pages you got in this. And I believe full price, this is $9. And I can't remember what the percentage off was for the sale. If I look it up, I'll put it there. Just so cute and I love like the little pockets Christmas to do's cup of cheer deck the halls another one of these pages like how cute is that slipping in slipping in I love the music references. She has a planner that's just Good Eats like this. Um, just so you know. More pockets. I mean, look how many pages you get here. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun just to sit on the couch, snuggle with the puppies, and kind of stress relief. And if I don't fill out every page, it's not the end of the world, right? But my goal, we're going to try to. I'm probably going to, since I don't write letters to Santa, I'm going to edit that. And maybe I'll even do some of it, like, on camera. I'll show you guys. I was considering doing Vlogmas this year, but I don't think I, I just don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I think you'll see a lot more videos during December. I'm excited to do this one. <laughs> like, I feel like this is, like, brain calming right here and I know a lot of people would be like oh no that's like overwhelming but like think about like your brain just focusing on one spot at a time so that is the Christmas planner no put that down here next I wanted to rework my faith planner for next year so I bought her dailies last year I used a different kind of daily spread but I thought this year I would do something that was a little more, like, full. No. Not full. I don't know how to describe it. Where I could just write the whole on the whole page in journal during my devotion. So I won't flip through this whole thing because it's going to be the same. But you get it this week. And then you just have the days of the week. So I can date them. Um, I switch up sometimes how I do my faith planning or my faith journaling so I figured this was really a, the best way because it gives me all the options it's just hey this is the day <laughs> write the date journal how you want um I've been going through the Lutheran hymnal in my faith journaling and devotional study so usually I write the number of the hymn the title the verse it was based off of then the verse 
And then um, our church also has a little devotional book and I do that every day. So, and then some sort of prayer list somewhere over there. So, and that might be something I put on the this week. On the this week, I might put like my prayer list and then just leave this the days of the week for journaling. That's a great idea, Holly. I'm so glad I talked it out with the people on YouTube. So yes, so then it repeats. Super easy. I thought this might be a nice way to do my faith journaling. Next, I've done this one before and it's coming back. And again, this is where having printables is nice because you get a month at a time, you print a month at a time. Here we go. The health planner. Okay. My health journey has not gone as expected, right? Life. So I thought, all right, why don't we start the new year? I mean, everybody does health stuff in the new year, right? It's kind of cliche, but with a health planner and find time to sit with it every day. Again, it can just be at night real quick. This doesn't take long to do. And I don't know how much you'll see me decorate it necessarily. I mean, I could see some washi going up here and I probably won't use the mood part of things. Habits. Yes, I love tracking my habits. That's been a fun thing this year that I've gotten really good at. But I like that it's steps, activity. This I'm not going to put breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Since I'm doing Noom, I'm going to change these to green, yellow, orange. And the goal is to get that green food number up a little bit higher. So my percentages of that. Because I've never, every health planner has this. And I'm like, who writes that small? And also, who doesn't eat snacks? I eat snacks. <laughs> Like, that's important to me. I may change this to track something else, or maybe I'll just put it as habits on both sides. I don't know. I'll figure that out. But all of these are the same. Again, I won't flip through the whole thing. But, yeah. So, hopefully that'll help me kind of jumpstart in the new year. Because one of my goals for this past month was to work out on my tonal twice a month. And it hasn't happened at all. But that being said, like, we've had a lot of, a lot <laughs> of changes going on in life. And sometimes you just have to roll with those punches and say, it's okay. And do the other healthy things that are good for you, like meditating and stuff like that. So health layout, so good. Giving it a try again. May not last the whole time. Here's another thing that I've done before, but differently. But I, th I think I'm gonna try it again and I think it'll help me with one of my goals for the new year going to go back to having a social media section to my planner. I may not use it every week. I may not use it all the time. I don't know. We're going to find out, right? We're going to find out. But I got a monthly section and a weekly section. Here's what the monthly looks like. This is this is the, I want to say, per, it's not really a perpetual, but it's, it's kind of like a month at a glance. And it Brings me right back to my bullet journal days, and I love it because I feel like here I can easily, I can either divide it into columns if I want something for like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, however I want to do it, there's a lot of space there. And this is all the monthly is. It's this page, and then it's very hard to see. The grid is very, very light, but there is actually a grid there. And all of them are just simple, easy peasy month. And so I'll do this in front of the week. I like this as kind of a brain dump section of maybe ideas going forward. I'll show you all the months just because of the decoration at the top. Why not? But I don't necessarily need a monthly grid for my social media, you know? And she has a lot of other layouts for social media and executive plans that are really good, but they're a little too much for what I, I need them for. I just need something to help me organize my pink zebra stuff, my YouTube stuff, that kind of thing. So there's the monthly that goes for that. And the weekly I chose is this guy. It's a, I'm going out of my comfort zone here. But it gives me a top priority to do's 
gratitude. This I might just white out. I don't know if I'll have it to buy, although sometimes I need pink zebra supplies. So there's that. Or I might even just put what I bought for that week if there was any supplies I bought so I can keep track of it. To do's. And then here I figured this is a great place to write what I'm posting. Whether it is my YouTube videos, my Instagram post, um, games that I'm doing in my VIP group, things like that. And this is what this layout looks like the whole time. So I'll just flip a couple pages so you can see. Yep, she's not lying. So this was my Lights Planner Action Haul. I am super excited. I'm going to bring it all up here so that you can see. I've got one more piece of Happy Mail that is coming. And then we'll call this video good. And then we'll start like planner lineup videos. Isn't that fun? I'm so excited for this. My last bit of Happy Mail arrived. Super excited. It is from... Exo Mama Plans uh, pre Black Friday sale. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're gonna start with the freebies. I'll kind of put it to the side. I know you'll be able to see a little bit of it. So we've got the Mahalo for your support. Very cute little freebie there. This one is all in like orange hues. I like the monochromaticness of it. And just the puppies are back up here today. Oh, I like the cleaning sticker. I didn't notice that one the first time. I like that. All right, and then I got the 2024. That'll probably go in my planner for next year. And it's a little, I can't tell if you, see how it's like a little holographic? It's really cute. And then the personalized sticker. Super fun. Super duper fun. You might be able to hear my husband in the background. That's totally fine. He is playing his games with the guys. All right. Next was the... I'm going to do these two together because they were tiered freebies. If you spent 15 or more dollars, you got these washi strips. So this one is more of a New Year's theme. It's so cute. And then this one is more of a Christmas theme. And then if you spent... 30 or more dollars, you got the days of the week little functional boxes that went with this colorway, which is great because I think I'm going to plan this week. Like, you're going to see this video after the plan with me. This is what I'm going to use. So, very cool. All right, now let's get into the stuff that I actually purchased. Put the freebies to the side. So, they she had some of her did I accidentally grab one that was attached somewhere else? Yes, I did. It's stuck to another sheet. I, I got two of her $2 Tuesday, like, overages. I feel like I need to zoom in just a touch more. There you go. And these are her days of the week. And this one is in her spring colorway. And this one's in her uh, forest rainbow. I just thought they were really cute. And for two bucks each, like... You get five weeks. I've got ten weeks down if I want to use them. However I want to use them. So I like that. Then I got her New Year's journaling kit and add-on. I should probably start with the kit itself. So here's the kit. I just loved the colors. You've got the like champagne -y gold and the black and the turquoise. And it's just super fun. I am not as fun like, I'm not that much fun on New Year's, but, you know, that's fine. I don't stay up late. Um, and then this was the add-on, and I got it all together because I thought it was so cute. Super fun. Then I have the first four months of the year done for kits. I got her January 2024 kit, and I love the white poinsettias or poinsettias. It's so pretty. And then this is the section that comes with it. I did not get the add-ons for any of the monthlies because I got two that were her 2024, but then I bought her 2023 ones for some of the others. Here's February with the florals. Super, super cute. I love the black. 
And then here's the page that comes with it. It has some of your functionals and decorative things. Very nice. So these, those both were 2024 listings. These next two are 2023, but I still thought they were fun. I liked the March, that it wasn't just green. It was like florally and green and a lot of fun. And again, these stickers are really cool. I liked that a lot. And April is done too. So I got the first four months of the year. One thing I wish she would offer during her pre-Black Friday sale would be like either a six month package and a 12 month package because I would buy them. I probably would. I probably would. No questions asked. So April and all of the pastel rainbows. So those are the months of the year. And speaking of months of the year, I got her mini months because I use an undated planner and I realized, oh, I don't have this to go on the weekly pages if I wanted to have them. So this has, again, four Januaries and goes all the way through. So that's pretty cool. I like it. It's very pretty. Then I got her Winter Beauty mini kit. And I just thought, I love the house. I thought this was a great January kit. Snowy, icy, winter. Hence why it's called Winter Beauty, right? And I like her checklist. So just a mini kit. And then the last kit I got was the Winter Dreams, which I was thinking was going to be a January kit. It probably still will be, but like the bucket list items have things like ugly sweater, party. Um, but that's like the only thing that's slightly Christmassy, uh, the gingerbread house. But who says you can't make a gingerbread house in January? Who says? I don't know. I didn't. So there you have it. So that is the end of my happy haul. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you found anything interesting from any of these shops, whether it's Pink Zebra or uh, Exo Mama Plans or um, Lights Planner Action, make sure you check them out. I'll have links in the description below and I'll catch you all in the next one.